Welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well. And welcome to all my new subscribers. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. So I am still waiting for my chakra paintings. And um, it is Thursday in the afternoon. I've been waiting all day. But so far what did come, I had three things coming today. I have a whole package of 12 8x10 uh, canvases from Arteza and my delivery, and this delivery got here well, um, my last one was all over the place because uh, I missed it. I got the Primal Flow Cranberry and I'm so excited and it's called Intense Teal and I got, it was buy one get one free so that's why I got more of that so while I'm waiting I just wanted to do this really quick these are actually already dry I poured these uh, this morning this video will probably go up tomorrow but um, these are already dry now what happened they you know they dried pretty well this one dried much darker but you know that happens um, and in my camera right now it looks red instead of pink and purple but it is pink and purple maybe if I Whoops, let's not break it. Switch the light, not really, it's what it's looking to me. But what happened was, see all those bumps? I torched it twice on the video, and once, um, you know, on my own, and I don't know if that's the tile itself, you know, like the surface of the tile, because I thought they were pretty smooth. And the same thing happened here because remember I said if you remember my uh, yesterday's video or actually today's video um, that um, it was having a lot of bubbles so it did it on both now if it happens again with different paint I will know that it's the tile if not I'll know it's the paint but what I'll do is I'm going to um, you know, I'm going to uh, varnish them or resin them, so that'll take out those little uh, bumps, hopefully, make them look a little smoother. And I am going to put the cork pieces on the back. So on the backs, they do have... Um, I did this purposely. I added, actually added more, so when I put the cork piece, you'll just see a little bit of the purple on the edge. And the same thing with here. I actually want paint on the edges so that way when I put the cork piece you can just see just a little bit like that much of the paint and it's gonna look really nice. And then once I varnish it or resin it will look really nice. So that is that pair. Again they dried pretty well and fast but um, they did have bubbles. So again I have to check um, a blank one and see if it's actually the um, the tile or the paint it could be the paint so we will see so I'll be back hopefully these uh, paintings will come soon and I can show you them all alrighty I will see you guys later and if for some reason they don't come today um, I may make a little something with my new colors. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Well, they finally arrived about, ooh, I would say in another hour. I'm trying to get a good shot of these, getting them all in. Ooh, I am so happy that they came because I am sure she was nervous to sending them. She did such a beautiful job. Um, so she, would she, would, well, let me say she, Stacy Nicole from Artsy Fartsy Lovers. And I'm going to link her channel in the description below. She, now I'm going to have to go look back on her video and see which way each symbol is actually supposed to face because I am not familiar with the symbols um, as much as what the actual chakras mean. 
so she did a beautiful job so here's the root um, here's the sacral chakra this is the solar plexus now I'm going through this one more time because I have like eight videos on this um, the heart chakra this is the throat chakra this is the third eye and that is the crown so it's basically Roy G Biv you know red orange yellow green blue uh, indigo and violet so yeah I'm gonna have to definitely look back on her video and see and this light is literally getting my last nerve okay that's better so um, you have to look on her video and see which way they're facing it could be this way um, and I want to obviously put them properly um, they did and that's not on her uh, that's uh, from the pouring they did kind of bend a little bit especially this one that's on me she just basically did all but she freehanded these and these are beautiful um, I believe she used the bottom of a candle, um, like the cap, a lid to a candle, and did the circle, and then everything is freehand. So she did a beautiful, beautiful job. Thank you so, so much, Stacy. I appreciate you. This is wonderful. I wish I could do this live, but I will have the capability soon enough. So she also sent me some adorable, adorable, beautiful gifts that where everything was wrapped in this beautiful um, ribbon, this beautiful ribbon here. She sent me a bloom. This is so pretty. And it says bloom three, 12, whoops, let me. So beautiful. And then she sent me this. What does it say on the back? Follow your dreams. So nice. 2M from S. Beautiful. Thank you so much, hon. And then she sent me this beautiful little piece of art. And last but certainly not least, she made this for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. And the cute little stickers. This is adorable. So thank you so 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 much, Stacy. I so much, I really appreciate you doing this. This was a lot of fun. Um, I was literally sitting by my bell. I can't hear my bell in other rooms. I live in an apartment, and no one's home except for my mom, and she's in a room where the door is closed. Um, yeah, so I had to like kind of stay in between my kitchen and my living room to hear the bell. So I, it just came right now and I just unboxed them and they all look beautiful. So, oh, there it is. So I'm going to, I had two ideas and I will be right back. Hey guys, sorry I'm back. My mom <laughs> didn't realize I was recording and she walked through so I had to get out of her way. So this is my idea, and I have two ideas. Number one, buy one huge canvas, which that may be a lot of money. And I actually think I like this better because I already have the canvas, not just because I have the canvas, I actually think I like the way this looks better. So all I'm trying to do is kind of recreate the human body. So this would be the bottom, obviously like your feet, internal organs stuff like that going up the spine straight across up now I actually made this pour specifically for this months ago while she was off doing the um, the symbols I was actually preparing um, ideas so I made this and I, I wanted to get this back because I haven't seen it for so long to see the um, Sybil on it and I wanted to see how it worked together and honestly I think it's perfect so this would obviously uh, represent the head and then this would be you know like say the third eye the throat and the heart so the upper portion of the body you know from the torso up and then this would re represent let's say from the stomach area you know internal organs all that um, sexual organs too and down to the feet so 
I am actually thinking I like this better. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to do in another video, okay, two paintings. And I'm going to use the colors that are associated. So I'm going to use these three colors on this, um, on the bottom on that canvas. And I'm going to use these three colors here. And I don't know what type of pour yet because I haven't thought that far. Um, and I'm going to see how I feel. It's always, especially with these videos and the chakras, it's always like how I'm feeling and also what I feel is like best associated with like that particular chakra. But because we're dealing with three different ones and different colors, um, I don't know yet. So maybe waterfall, who knows? I have no idea right now. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. And then after I do the pores, I really want to kind of center this as much as possible. So um, I'm going to actually measure you know, in between each painting, uh, there won't be a lot of room at the ends, but I want to like have a little space in between and then try to get as centered as possible on each side because this is literally supposed to represent the spine and the body and then attach to the head. And I, now that I see it and it's because I was just really waiting to, to get them back to see how that made me feel. And actually, I love this more. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I am, and like I said, another video, I'm gonna do two paintings in one video, one in one. And then after that, these those dry, I am going to uh, literally attach the paintings to the other painting, probably by hot glue. Um, I, Cause I was thinking just kind of drop them down while the paint is wet. But I actually, that's not going to work because I try, I want to get it as close to center as possible. So that means I have to do some measuring, maybe do a tiny little mark, you know, just like a tiny little pencil mark and get it, you know, as perfect as possible. I'm not like this perfectionist, um, but, you know, I want to try because I want it to feel like a balanced, um, yeah, a balanced piece. So... And then in another video, uh, I don't know which one's gonna. I don't know which one's gonna come first, but I am actually going to dedicate the video and the painting to Stacy Nicole for doing this with me, and I'm gonna send that painting to her as a gift. And if um, anyone should happen to buy this piece, whether it be just one section or the whole, you know the whole thing because it is it really does all go together but let's say someone wanted just to buy that one piece you know I actually had three buyers um, I'm going to be sharing the proceeds with her as well okay guys so that is just a short little quick video today and I actually have another dedication video uh, coming up I'm actually preparing uh, for that because I need um, a couple of things. Actually, I need one more thing, I believe. Uh, I'm trying to find it. And it is a dedication to my favorite YouTuber. And if you heard my other videos, who my favorite YouTuber is, it is, he, it is Markiplier. Uh, Mark Fishbach, AKA Markiplier. He is my all-time favorite YouTuber. I can literally watch him all day, never get bored never get tired, laugh all day, sometimes cry, get scared out of my wits. Um, yeah, so I am kind of doing a little preparation work for that. So because for people who don't know who he is, I'm going to give a little background. And also because he does do some things with other YouTubers as of right now, he has a second channel and he actually has uh, a clothing brand with Jacksepticeye, which is another YouTuber, and they're both all gamers, and he has another YouTube channel called Unis Honest with uh, Ethan from Crank uh, Gameplays. So I do watch a lot of gaming, and yeah, so that is going to be one of my next videos as well, but that's going to take a little preparation, um, and I'm taking my time with it. So, yeah, so that is it for today, guys. Thank you so, so much. And thanks again, Stacy Nicole from RT Farty Lovers for my beautiful gifts. I kind of knew she was going to send me some cute stuff because she's just that type of person, ultra sweet, ultra giving. 
very helpful, very, very talented artist, and I am in love. So thank you so much. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.